Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. This is Matt Kenseth's 2013 Las Vegas race win. This was his first win with Joe Gibbs Racing in the number 20, and the first of three in 2013, which Casey Kane would finish second in, which irks me to this day, um, because this one he had it handily won. Kane wasn't going to catch him. Kansas, it looked like Kane had a shot to catch him if he had a few more laps. And Bristol, Kane definitely had a shot at him. And Kane is way, was way too clean a racer. He never was willing to move Kenseth, uh, which was unfortunate because I believe at Watkins Glen then later that season he was dumped by Kenseth and wrecked on the final lap and almost didn't make the playoffs. So just saying, he owed him one. But uh, anyway, let's get on to the die cast here. So we got the Sprint Cup Series box from 2013 there is no winner sticker because they didn't start that until 2014 uh there's him with the cobalt for cobalt tools 400 trophy uh same thing there you got the schedule there and the quantity one of 912 with also an uh elite run of these cars so there's another bunch of them there uh there you see the winner card um two hours 44 minutes uh five cautions 25 laps uh one by half a second Led 42 laps, and it was his 25th career win. Uh, there you see, Kenseth wins big at Vegas. Um, so he started 18th and won by half a second. Uh, do, 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 do. Anything else of use in there? No, not really. Um, so there's the winner card, uh, the Cobalt Tools Confetti, uh, which is kind of iconic. So Cobalt Tools, ever since uh, Lowe's decided, Lowe's and Cobalt, ever since they decided to leave the sport, uh, boy, we've been missing it. I love that confetti. Um, Trying to remember when the last time the Cobalt Tools race was. I do know that they ran it at uh, 2017 Vegas, but I don't know if they ran it after that because 2018 is when they, no, 2019 they left the sport, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's go down the left side. So we've got Goodyear, number 20 there, um, rivets along the bottom. You see the Dollar General logos down there, kind of neat uh, how they're silver on black there. Uh, we got Dollar General on the rear corner here. There you can see a little bit of rubber buildup all around the, on the left rear tire here. A little bit of Goodyear. You can see the, the little tape from the brand new tire. Got Clorox and Stacker 2. Uh, then you got the American Ethanol ring. On the back, you've got Home Depot and Toyota. Number 20 there as well. Uh, Dollar General and DIN 777. Hey, what are you going to say? Lucky number 7 in Vegas. Um, there we go. Roof flaps do open. They're both there. Um, so that's the other thing. Here's the unique part of this car. We're going to get to the right rear. They have this, like, skid mark thing um, that you can lay out behind the tire. Uh, let's see here if it'll turn. There we go. And then it just kind of strings out and lays on the ground like a, like a burnout. Um, not going to lie, I'm not a huge fan. You can see how it just kind of wrinkles up and goes into weird places and doesn't lay flat. So I tend to just say go ahead and roll her up and leave her up there. Um, there you can see some of the white uh, paint mark from just kind of spinning through the grass on the wheel. A little bit of build up, but not much. Uh, confetti all down this right side. You can see it up there on the top. Um, but otherwise, fairly clean. Rivets down there on the skirt, but not a ton of build up or anything like that. On the nose, a little bit on there. You can see it on the left and right front corners. Not much tape on there. You can see it's just, just a small amount of buildup. Hamburger Helper and Dollar General again. Kenseth on the window, on the rear or on the front windshield. And then you can see all the different confetti pieces here um, scattered about throughout the hood and the windshield and the roof where we got that confetti just kind of everywhere. Um, as I said, this Cobalt Tools confetti is, con I, I mean, can't remember how many cars it's on. It's on the 2015 Harvick, the 2014. Um, I think it was Kozlowski, 2013 Kenseth, 2017 Truex, 2018, I don't remember. I don't remember if it's on there or if they sponsored a race, but it was, I mean, Kane's, um, uh, what year was that? The 2011 Phoenix win was, was the Cobalt confetti. So it's, it's a very famous confetti. I've seen it on a number of different cars. And so, I, I mean, it's iconic. I wish they would come back and do that confetti again. It's cool. But um, other things to look at is the hood or the engine detail. Unfortunately, the 2013s were much to be desired. See, so we got the red valve covers, and that's it. Everything else is just a plain black box, except for the air filter there. But, uh, yeah, it definitely um, definitely needed to be better than that um, because that, that was not good enough. Um Underneath, you can see we got working rear suspension. There's that tire where it's, as I said, it's like split in half, and then it's supposed to be like a, like a skid mark, or I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but it, it looks kind of goofy. Um, 
yeah, I'd be half tempted to just tape it or glue it back together as one full tire, but I'm not going to mess with it just so I don't wreck the car. Um, but just definitely a goofy thing they would did with the tire. But um, it's it's definitely, I mean, it's a very clean race win. It's his first one with Joe Gibbs, but um, of the Dollar General ones, the only one I'm probably going to keep is the Bristol win because it's a good-looking car, lots of damage to it. The Kentucky one had some good stuff too, but I haven't get, picked that one up yet. So um, anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload to the channel. Um, I try to upload every day of the week for diecast reviews, and on the weekends, uh, race reviews and predictions type videos kind of the fun stuff uh save for the weekend so uh if you've enjoyed make sure you uh i said put that thumbs up and uh make sure that bell's on so you don't miss an upload so this has been race craze thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next diecast review